Welcome to One Training, where we provide health and fitness content to help you achieve your goals. Choose the fitness course Professional Athletes Trust. Click the link in the comments to learn more. Hi everyone, Chris from One Training here. So in this video, we're going to look at different ways to test some of the health components of fitness without equipment. So some really simple ways to go about this, okay? Um, now, first and foremost, it's important to remember whenever you're assessing or looking at the you know, needs for um, what fitness, uh, sorry, what health components or fitness goals we're going to focus on, okay? This would depend on the client's you know, requests that they might physically say it, or it might relate to a sport or activity they're wanting to compete in. So it might be they want to do a marathon, they want to do a um, uh, they want to improve uh, or play a certain sport, things like that, play a different position. Okay, so we would first need to look at the specific needs and what tests would relate to that. Okay, but we'll do a bit of a general one for you here today. So if we were going to be able to do this in a really simple way and use as little equipment as possible or use, you know, um, I guess specific landmarks or things that are already there to do some testing, okay? We'll look at uh, four different ways you can do that and give you two examples for each component, okay? So if we were to try and test uh, cardiovascular endurance, we could do something simple as the beat test, okay? And we could simply use, you know, two, uh, use, use lines in the footy field, okay? Or just two, uh, I guess, specific areas outdoors from A to B. Uh, we could do something like the college, Queen's College step test. Again, this would just really require us to, to be able to step up onto, a, uh, it could be a park bench or a sort of rock wall or a big step or something like that, okay? There's simple ways to uh, test and, and still follow those protocols almost to the T. Uh, for muscular strength, we could do things like push-ups or uh, the wall sit. And again, we could see how many we could do in a certain amount of time or for a certain period of time okay um it's also worth knowing that the you know body weight exercises could very well uh, match up with a an endurance test okay but in in a an endurance test we would probably see how long they could go for rather than giving them a, a specific sort of goal or period of time okay so if we want to use the push-up and wall sit for a strength test then we could do something simple like the plank uh, and simply time how long we could hold it for or how many reps we could do something like a body weight squat for, okay? And just literally have the client go to a, obviously a, a point where it's still safe, but how many they could physically do, okay? The last one would be for flexibility. So if we were gonna do a simple sit and reach test, okay? Um, again, see how far they could actually reach and measure that. Um, or we could do the shoulder flexibility or what they call the, the back scratch test. So it's just trying to touch your, um, your hands behind your shoulders, um, behind your uh, back, essentially. Really, really simple test. And again, they include very, very to little uh, or no e equipment. All right. So again, th there are, I guess, specific examples and other insights into different components for different sports or activities or goals. Okay. But just wanted to give you a really simple video uh, and talk about the fitness components that would require, um, so the, the fitness tests that you could do without any equipment.